Now after we already create the get to do's function, we are going to add the create to do's. So in type dev, under the type query, now we are going to add the type mutations. And inside this curly bracket, we add to do. And then we pass the title, the detail, and also the date. And it will return to do. And then we go to the resolvers. And just like inside the type dev, we are going to add the mutations. And we are going to use the same name to do, add to do. And then we have the async. And then we pass the root and also the arguments. And then we have the constant new to do is equal to new to do. And then we pass the title. And the title is from the arguments dot title. Because if you look at this type tab, this is the arguments and arguments dot title is the title. So we will type like this. And then we going to continue to get the details and also the date. So this is the detail and this is the date. And now we are going to wait the new to do already save. And after it already save, we return the new to do values. So now we can try on the GraphQL. And now we go to add the mutations. And then we have add to do. And inside this add to do, we going to pass the value of the title. This is first to do. And then we going to add the detail. And we just duplicate a few times. And at last we have to add the date. And then we returned the ID, the title, the detail, and also the date. Of course, you can remove some of this. For example, if we click this, it will return the ID, the title, the detail. And now if we go to add the second to do, and we add another date, and this time we just want to return the ID and title. If we run this again, now you can see it just return the title and also the ID. And this is the powerful of the GraphQL. So now we can try to get the, all the to-dos again and we run the get to-dos. And now we also want to get the title and also the details and also the date. Now if we execute, now you can see we get two to-dos with all the properties like ID, title, details, and also the date.